Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Political Brown Kid here, bringing you another Political Brown Kid PSA. Um, Jess was woke up this morning, was checking out the news, my news feed, and I did see that they say that HIV is um, rapidly rising in Atlanta. They said, um, they, but let me just um, caution this. I don't know why they focused on Atlanta first, because Atlanta is actually third amongst new cases of HIV. Um, the other two areas that had the highest um, reports of um, HIV so far are, and I'm pretty sure you can probably guess that, um, or you can see the pattern here. It's Miami and Memphis. So Miami, Florida, and Memphis, Tennessee. Seems like those are three areas populated with people, um, black people. Let me just say it that way. I was going to say people that look like me, but y'all don't know what I look like, so I'll just say black people. So Atlanta, so, well, Houston, I mean, um, Miami, and then uh, Memphis. I must, I don't know, they didn't say which order. I didn't. I forgot which order they two, those two came in. And Atlanta have, um, are seeing spikes in the CDC is um, concerned. Um, I think you're thinking about issuing out some kind of pill, kind of like a morning after pill that's for STIs. But um, I don't know if that's going to help you with HIV. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because there's kind of a correlation between about last year in 2023, actually, um, there was a spike in Atlanta and also in Houston of syphilis, gonorrhea, and what's the other one? Syphilis, gonorrhea, and something else. Um, but there, there was a, a spike in those cases. And the cases in all of these instances, when we're talking about syphilis, gonorrhea, and I forgot what the third um, STI was, and then also talking about HIV, they're reporting that it's affecting women. Um, they didn't say whether it was sisters or, you know, they didn't give the demographics of the women. But when you're looking at Houston, you know, Houston was with the S, um, with the syphilis, gonorrhea, and the other one, I forgot the third one. And then when you're looking at Atlanta, Memphis, and then Miami, Miami can kind of go anyway because you have Cubans down there, you have whites, you have, it's, it's a mix down there, but I don't know which portion of Miami they're talking about. But when you're talking about those cities and they're talking about concerns with, you know, affecting cases with women, and then I don't know if you all paid attention, there was a woman that did a video online where she was in her car and she was very upset and I do feel for her um, and I hope everything worked out with her. And she was basically talking about she had contracted something from some guy. She didn't say what, what it was, but she was just she made a PSA for people to protect themselves because somebody gave her something. I was just talking to a female the other day last week and she told me that she finally let a guy that she was messing with go. <clears throat> this was very interesting because he gave her uh, an STD um, and then he refused treatment. So he, he wanted her to get the treatment for him. <laughs> and then she wound up doing it. Um, so, but he didn't want to go get his own treatment. And so I'm saying all this to say this is that when they're talking about women, and you're seeing these rapid rises, especially of HIV, even though HIV is manageable, you still don't want to catch that. Um, it, it shows a, we're trying to be cautious here to tell women, you know, you're, you know that you're sharing the same men. A lot of you women know you're sharing the same men. You're just out here trying to have fun because your standards are your standards. And until you can find a guy that fits those standards, you're still willing to just have fun with you know, the neighborhood F boy, as y'all call it. I don't even know how that term, I'm too old to be saying that term, but I'm going to use it because that's what the internet, y'all can relate to it. But y'all are just going to have fun with the F boy or with the whomever that y'all, you know, get down with. You know, he ain't good for you. You know, he's banging other women, but you do it anyway. Instead of you going out and finding some lame dude or finding some other dude, y'all are just sharing men and you're sharing men and you're contracting what did the article say? Syphilis, gonorrhea, and I don't even know what the third, um, what the third one was. But in, in any event, you get the picture here. And these are all predominantly African American or Black cities, 
or, or, or cities with a high concentration of us in it. So I just kind of want to make this um, just kind of quick PSA just to put awareness out there. If you're not paying attention to the news and if this didn't pop up in your news feed, it popped up in mine. If you don't believe what I'm saying, go Google it. Go look on the news. I use, you know, look on whatever news source you use. But it's getting serious out here. And if it spreads there and once it populates there, you know how people move around. You're looking at probably potential other outbreaks of stuff. And you don't want to be bringing back old diseases and making them super gonorrhea, super syphilis, and all those other stuff where they're now hard to cure. And then HIV starts mutating. You don't want to do that. So be careful out here. Use protection. And God, for, you know, God willing, get a new partner. Find somebody and just kind of hone in on that one person. Stop sharing. And if you have doubts that that person is, if you don't think that person is committed to you and only you, don't deal with them. So once again, this is the Political Brown Kid. If you have any comments on this or any additional information that I may have left out, put it in the comment section. But always hit the like and subscribe button because I like to see people come back and I like to get good information and have good dialogue with individuals. Uh, so once again, this is the Political Brown Kid. I'm out.